Hello and welcome to a brand new series called The Beginner's Guide to Evernote. Hello and welcome to this brand new series of videos called The Beginner's Guide to Evernote. This series is designed to help any of you guys who have struggled in the past or are brand new to Evernote to set up Evernote so that it works specifically for you. So this is going to be a very basic setup guide and I'm going to do maybe five videos. So it's a series of five videos that's going to take you through onboarding, basically how to get it set up to start with. I'll go through in the future episodes, I'll go through tagging, I'll go through finding your email address and whether you should migrate from the free version to the premium version. But in this first series, this first episode, I should say, this first episode, it's all about notebooks, how to create your first notebook and how to create additional notebooks on top of that. And of course, we're going to be covering a little bit of the Evernote user interface. Now, before we get into this, I should point out that I am using the Mac version of Evernote. I believe that the Windows version is slightly different, but I'm sure you'll be able to figure that one out. I will put a link to all the help pages that are required in order for you to figure out how best to get these things sorted out. I would advise that you don't work from the web version because as of time of recording this, which is October 2018, the web version of Evernote is not really that good. So really you want to be downloading the application onto all your devices, the actual native app, that's the iOS, Android, Windows and Mac applications directly to your computers. Okay. Let's get straight into this first episode and this one is all about notebooks and how to get set up with your very first notebook. Okay, so when you open up Evernote for the first time, you'll have your account details up here on the top left. You can click here to create a new note. You have shortcuts which you can come to later which we will come into. All your notes, so you can list all your view in all the notes that you have. Now, if you're very new to Evernote, you'll find that you have no notes. You have notebooks, which is a default notebook set up to get you started. And you have tags and you can create new tags. Now, we're not going to cover tags today. We're just going to focus on the notebooks. And here we have. But before I do that, I just want to go into here. If you go into your account, so you can go into your account info, you will have the various dis information here. So you can actually edit your photo. You can put a photo in there. Now in this particular, this is my demo account. So I actually are using the basic membership. You can go for premium, which is the one that I would strongly recommend because it opens up so many more things that you would like to actually use. Um, business, if you're going to be collaborating with a lot of different people. But for now, and just to start us off, we're going to work from the basic features and to show you what you can use within the basic features system. So essentially here we have, we have the notebooks. Now I've actually named this because this is my demo account, so I've used it before. I cannot remember the exact name that Evernote has for its first notebook, but you always have one that will be set up. And the thing about your notebook is that if you go into your preferences here, uh, you can create your notebook uh, that by default place new notes in the following notebook. Now, as I only have one, there's only one I can choose. And that's a crucial point. We're going to come back to that a little bit later on. But for now, that will be set as your default notebook. Now, as you go into this, what I would recommend when you set up this don't change that from your default notebook. But if you go to the th ellipses at the right hand side here, click on that and you can actually rename the notebook. So I'm going to call this inbox and I'm going to put 00, zero at the front as in the numbers 00. zero. Now there's a reason I'm doing that is because whatever happens now, this notebook, my inbox will be at the top of my notebook list. Now, essentially what notebooks do is they 
are where you hold your notes. So you can think of it as a real genuine notebook. So if you're starting out this for new, I would recommend that you just set up, just to start with, two basic notebooks. So leave the inbox as your default notebook because that's where you want to be collecting everything into, your default notebook, your inbox if you like. But what you want to do is create two new in notebooks and to do that sorry i'll just to do that you just click on this little button at the top that says plus new notebook so we're going to add that i'm going to call this uh work and i'm going to keep that in capitals that's just my way of doing it you don't have to do that um i'm going to keep this private because i'm not sharing the notebook with anybody now you can change you can always change that later if you want to share a notebook with somebody so that's one and I'm going to create one more notebook, which is called personal. And I'm going to also create that as private. So what you'll see is here, this has come in alphabetically. So if you want to keep a notebook above another notebook, so let's say, for example, I want to keep put my work notebook above my personal, what I would do is I would number that 02. And now that goes above and then I would create my personal notebook and just rename that as 03. And that's all you have to do if you want to create some kind of order to your list. I don't specifically <clears throat> need to do that, but if you prefer to have an order, that's the best way to do it because numbers will always have the priority. So and also put the zero before and then it just makes sure that depending on how many notebooks you actually create. So essentially when you're creating notebooks, that's all you need to do is to create one, the two additional notebooks for when you're started. So you've got your inbox, which actually what I've done here is I've made it, I want to keep it all capitalization because this is a brand new setup. Um, and we want to make it look absolutely perfect. So there we have the setup for notebooks. We've got the inbox, you've got your work, and you've got personal. So essentially what you're going to be doing ultimately, when we'll come onto this in a later episode, but what we'll be doing is we will be collecting stuff in our inbox throughout the day. And depending on what you're collecting each day, you will then be moving things into these different notebook so you want to be cleaning out your inbox as often as you possibly can now one more thing about this is i would always recommend that you move your inbox to your shortcuts now there's a couple of ways of doing this <clears throat> you can go to here and you can just add to shortcuts if you wish that's fine <clears throat> or an easier way from the mac version is just to drag it onto shortcuts like that and now that's in my notebooks and it's right up at the very top. I just like to have the shortcuts at the top because this is always going to be there. And as you grow your Evernote, there'll be either notes, tags or notebooks that you want quick access to. So moving them into your shortcuts, that's a really cool way. Now, one more thing before we finish this episode is one of the benefits of using notebooks to organize your different areas is that you have the ability to stack. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new notebook and I'm going to call this one uh, 2019 Holiday Plans. Now as I say I like to keep all my notebooks with a capital letter so what I've done is plans and again I'm going to keep that private although I could share it so um, I'm going to keep that private and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it and I'm going to stack it on top of personal. What's going to happen now is because I dragged that on top of my personal stack, the stack is called personal. Now, if I change that and I drag that out so we don't have a stack, actually, I want to remove this from the stack. So uh, remove from stack. Unfortunately, this has now been stuck there. <laughs> so I'm going to remove this one from stack and that will remove the personal stack. Now, if I actually drag this one on top of that one, then now I've got the name of the stack is 2019 Holiday Plans, which is not what I actually wanted to do. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to remove that notebook from the stack, and I'm going to remove that one from the stack. And what you find is I'm now clean, so I can now drag that one on top of that, and I have my personal stack. And you can do the same with your work folder too. So you can create uh, your, your stacks, so that you've got personal stacking, you've got a work stack. 
Now that's a little bit of an advanced trick and it's not something I would recommend that you would start off with right now but I really wanted to cover just the basics in this and stacking is something that you may wish to do. So from this video all I want you to be able to do is to set up your basic notebooks. You don't need to go any further. In the next episode I will show you how to get notes into your notebook so that you can start using the notes. But that's essentially what you would need to do when you start out with Evernote. Set up just those three basic notebooks. And remember the inbox is what you want as your main default notebook. So if we go back into the preferences before we finish this uh, you'll see by default place new notes in the following notebook. I've got my inbox but now that I've added some others I can actually start clicking on these. Make sure it is your inbox. This is going to save you so much save you so much trouble in the future because right now we have no notes but if you get this in your got th three or four thousand notes and you just don't know where they're going that can cause problems. So get that cleaned up now while you're fresh and new and get that sorted out. So what I would recommend, your homework if you like, is set up those three basic notebooks. Inbox, personal and work. And in the next episode we'll look at expanding that and we'll look at maybe doing the tags as well because I think that's another important part of the Evernote system. Okay, thank you very much, very much for watching this first episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked what you saw and you would like to learn more about becoming better organized and more productive, then get yourself enrolled in my free beginner's guide to building your own productivity system. And if you'd like to learn more about how I can help you, then visit my website at carlpauline.com. All the details are in the show notes below.